of all time, Mel Gray. I would have to say Mel Gray should be a little higher than that. Is there any better in the National Football League? I think he's one of the more underrated guys. Mel Gray! I think it's a wise choice because I don't think a lot of people would recognize him today as one of the top ten return guys. Gray began his career in 1986 with the Saints, but it was primarily as a member of the Lions where our number five return ace showed off his number one trait. His thing was speed. Oh, he was quick. Got his third kickoff return for a touchdown this year. Coaches were screaming. Everybody hustled to the ball. Everybody get to him. We need 11 guys to tackle him. Bell, up to the races, far side. He's gone. And you would all come walking over to the sideline saying, what happened? We prepared for this guy, but we just couldn't stop him from getting to the end zone. That will just break your back. But as the old adage goes, for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. He took some huge hits. It's as hard a hit as you're ever going to see. Wayne Fonts used to joke that he would go into the pile so fast that sometimes he'd get knocked back out even faster. Watching Mel Gray made me realize that the greatest attribute a kick returner can have, and he had it, was fearlessness. Where you collect the ball, you just pick a hole, and you go. And if you get hit, you get hit hard and you are down. But if you burst through that hole, you're gone. He's off to the races. Touchdown, Mel Gray. 98 yards. The amazing thing about Mel Gray was he never lost that fearlessness. Nobody's going to catch him. Mel Gray's going all the way for the touchdown. In his 12 seasons, Gray scored nine touchdowns and retired in 1997 as the league's all-time leading kick returner. Tony is up with Mel Gray. A lot of returners in this league do it for a year or two. It's the special ones like Mel Gray who do it year after year after year. That is really hard to do. 101-yard kickoff return by Mel Gray. He made four Pro Bowls here in Detroit in a six-year span. And I once asked one of the guys who was a Hall of Fame selector, could a return specialist who's clearly the best of his era, and Mel Gray was, could he make the Hall of Fame?